Oh yeah, th this this is one I think you'll like. The overpowered spells. You know what? You know what? Baldur's Gate three taught me. Um. Explosions are good. Uh, it taught me how great. Oh. Uh -huh. What are you gonna say? I was gonna say if you put in a buff tiefling lady, everyone will thirst for her. Oh, they thirst for everyone in that game, but yeah. Uh, it taught me that Cloud of Daggers is wonderful. Especially uh, when I... their goblins are in such high numbers. Aww. I don't really use much magic in Baldur's Gate. I just play my paladin, jump in, and hope I hit. Let's just say that the goblins were dumb enough that they... There was only really one way for them to get to us, so I just put the cloud daggers there, and yeah. Oh yeah. Tell me, how many times have you dealt with fireball? Oh my god. Oh, okay, I have so many stories. Okay, where do I start? Uh, game one. Uh, Red Croy has always wanted to use fireball, because he just loves the spell. So, one time, I had the players deal with something known as a False Hydra. It's a homebrew monster that's more used to scare the pants out of people than to actually, you know, have proper combat. Uh -huh. So, basically, the party got a bunch of um, wine, gunpowder, all that stuff, put it in front of the creature, and then blew it up, and Rykroy was super happy because he could finally use Fireball. <laughs> <laughs> and then... And then in game two, which is the current one I'm running, so I had my so basically I had my carnival uh, be part of the story because because why not? <laughs> did someone use carnival? Someone use fireball on her carnival? Yeah, but there's a reason for that. So what happened was, uh, the gnolls, these group of gnolls were attacking the people, taking all the animals, all the people. The group was leading a pack of deaf dogs into um, into like a kill zone, essentially. They led them into a stable, and as soon as they did, they're like, uh, the cleric, which is a uh, light cleric, which I don't know if you know what it is, basically has access to fire-based spells. Yeah. Specifically fireball. <laughs> <laughs> the cleric and the, and the warlock, who's a fiend warlock, said, okay, now that we have him in the kill zone, we're gonna cast Fireball! They they just literally obliterated the deaf dogs, and then I had them deal with the gnolls, and they're like, okay, now that these guys are close together, Fireball! <laughs> <laughs> they, ever since they got access to it, man, it's Fireball this, Fireball that. And I even and I even had, like, the ma this main bad guy get super close up to them, because they're kind of all squishy and casters, pretty much, uh -huh. and like, and like the and the cleric's just like, well, I can't use fireball. I'm like, I mean, I, you can. You're just gonna hurt yourself and the entire party. Do it. I think it was funny. They they didn't do it. it. Made me so sad. Because you want them to hurt themselves for once. Well, that and because I literally showed them that I literally, you know, it sucks. I gave Gregory the the um, not wizard. An item he can use to fight in case his spells don't work. Uh -huh. He didn't even bother using it, and I'm like, I specifically made that for you in case your spells don't work, and you don't use it, you butt. <laughs> you do the opposite of use it. What was all that? What was all the five minutes I spent thinking about you going to waste? <laughs> I love them, I do, but they are all so mean to me, dude. They are horrible. Bugs. Anyway, they are in fact bugs. Let's move on with this. Fireball at fifth level. <laughs> Lightning bolt do <laughs> banned you from those spells. You're gonna have to prepare something oh. else. Pick something from at least under fifth level. I don't know. Try something new. I know lightning bolt can be pretty bad. But oh, yeah. wait, hang on. Was it Goku flavor? Ooh. G fuel. Code fireball for really discount. Good. Yeah, it looks good. I've never tried G fuel. Funny enough. Eh, I don't like those. Uh, I do like energy, but the problem is usually when you mix them with water, they don't taste good to me. Don't, just don't. Like I said. Like, uh, I don't like sparkling water flavored. Try something new. But, my guy, we literally ended your arc like two and a half years ago. You're lucky <laughs> you're still here. Uh, you know there's uh, like new books, right? With 
new spells. Yes, <laughs> those are balanced. Hmm? The player's handbook is where the real power is. First draft rules from 2014? Oh, give me the garbage. That's what? That's find the powerful stuff, like loopholes and... I swear to God, man, if you found some broken way to cast a spell that I've overlooked... See? Hmm. Uh, okay, sure. Roll the d8s. I'll have cast it to fifth level. And now he's sleeping. <laughs> At fifth level, sleep is a bullshit. Oh. Eighty-two hit points, pretty low considering it could have been a hundred and four. But I'll target <laughs> sixty-one of those points on the mind flare, and then the final twenty-one on three of these goblins. What? They're like way over here. The spell is twenty feet. That's four squares. All oh, right, of course, twenty feet. How could I be so stupid? It's a radius, you fool. He does have a point. It is a radius. It is. It really is, actually. Sleep can be super deadly when used right. <laughs> <laughs> That look. <laughs> They're all asleep, unconscious, done. You get no turns. He's using Dark Soul music right now. <laughs> <laughs> you thought Stunning oh Strike was strong. Wait, oh yeah, there is a Dark Souls TTRPG, I think. That sounds terrifying. Um, yeah, it's on. Yeah, well, at least the Lich is immune to sleep. All, all your right, well, the Lich right. is immune to sleep. <laughs> Silence. Oh. oh, right. Silence. <laughs> now we won't be able to talk. It's deadly. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> you use silence on the lich. No, 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 no. How many of his spells? Wait, 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 wait. Need verbal components. All of them. No, it's all, all of them. Of them. <laughs> Except for. Well, he'll counterspell. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> what? That's a real slapper i'm gonna go fall my way to silly town order me a hilarity smoothie this sounds like something you would say fatal <laughs> oh my god i know i have a, i know i use older slang but i'm not that old <laughs> you're mean i'm not being mean i mean that you say silly stuff I do, but I'm, I don't think I've ever said D slapper before. I wasn't focusing on that. I was talking about going down to Silly Town and get a drink. <laughs> okay, yeah, that sounds like something I would say. Don't think I have that! Yeah, counter spell. What do do now? Oh, well, you can just walk out of it. It's a 40 foot radius. <laughs> hmm, what about heat metal? Yeah, I know how that spell. Heat metal can be dangerous, and honestly, it's kind of horrifying as a spell. Oh, yeah. Because I just remember one guy doing that repeatedly to an enemy paladin. Just at the, he was a bard, and he's just like, you know what, at the end, I'm gonna give him an F you. Heat metal. While he's just <laughs> burning in his armor. Like, he took his helmet off, but it's still not enough, so he would have to, like, strip down while burning. Oh my god. Oh, Max, that reminds me. Talking about, uh, kind of, like, overpowered-ish spells, uh, during Karst's, uh, campaign, the first one where I played in it, we were at the final battle, and Karst, uh, the main, the endgame bad guy was using a giant, like, was using a giant crystal machine to, I guess, pierce into heaven or something like that? It was a whole thing. Anyway, uh, basically, uh, we were all level 20 at that point, and I literally was playing a Tempest Cleric. I had I kind of avoided most of the higher level spells because my character was more uh, into healing, which is kind of funny because I was Tempest, and Tempest is more like DPS or whatever. Uh -huh. anyway, my main point is, there's the giant crystal, and I was just like, so, Cars, this thing is made out of crystal, right? And he's like, mm. yes, why do you ask? I'm like, so if I was to use Shatter... Oh it, my god! That, dude. <laughs> and he was like panicking, I'm like, so, Cars, I'm gonna cast Shatter at ninth level, and I'm also going to use my... And I'm also going to use my, um... Cleric ability to basically, when you use your cleric ability as a Tempest cleric, you can basically get the maximum output out of any thunder slash lightning based spells. God. I basically destroyed the machine. I'm like, I'm going to use my only 
I'm gonna use a ninth level spell because if I don't, I'll never have a chance to. So here we go. <laughs> I literally destroyed that machine because I was because I hated the bad <laughs> Hey, hey, he had it coming. Cars had it coming. <laughs> you can be just as bad as him, can you? <laughs> yeah, but to be honest, a lot of the time, I'd rather just have fun and do silly stuff than be rude like that. I only ever do it when it's necessary, but honestly, a lot of the other times, my characters just do silly stuff. Yeah, I can see that. That works. But what yeah. Am I about now? <laughs> Wait. It's a sword, but it has a wooden handle. Or even obsidian. Oh. An obsidian handle. Oh, he's talking about giving heat metal to a paladin by heating up his sword. That comes into contact with the metal. It's going to take 2d8. Sorry, I'll cast a... That's bull... Oh, God. That's... Fifth, 5d8 fire damage. That's horrifying. 5d8 plus 2d6 from a great sword plus a third level smite. And oh, he could bonus action thundering smite, so... That is horrifying. That is Jesus. You're basically giving the paladin the power of God in anime in his hands. 5d8 fire, 2d6 slashing, 2d6 thunder, and 3d8 radiant damage. That's an average of about 54 damage from one attack. <laughs> the max would be like 85. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, okay. come and don't do that. <laughs> No. You can cloud of daggers. Stop. The text of the spell says that the creature takes slashing damage when it enters the spell's area for the first time on a turn or starts its turn there. Yeah. So as I cast it, and at the start of the creature's turn, it's going to take an average of 20 damage without a saving throw, but upcast it to fifth, and that's 50 damage without. I did that a lot, actually. I just made stronger and stronger cloud of daggers while using, uh,. Oh, great. My thing's not going. I just use Cloud of Daggers, uh, just casting them at higher levels <laughs> to uh, cause more problems for the... I, it just put the boss and his minions in that cloud, and once they enter it and once they leave it, they're going to take a lot of damage, no matter what. Yes, here's the thing, LDP. If it's heat metal, but it's a wooden handle, which most swords have, then they're going to be fine. That's what he just said. Why? <laughs> you know what? Let's move away from this. <laughs> He's just tormenting the DM. <laughs> He's saying, why? Oh, dear Bard. Yes? Why don't you cast Suggestion to the Beholder and tell him to fail his next saving throw? Okay. All right, this... This one has holes. First of all, the Beholder's saving throw is pretty high. Second of all, suggestion specifies that they can't do something that's obviously harmful. Fair. Then be honest with him, Bard. Tell him that I am going to cast a spell on him that is going to make him safe. Okay! But... What? Are you lying? No. So, what? Then it seems harmful, so he probably doesn't do it. Then when is the spell supposed to work? It's an enchantment spell that's already going to make somebody do something they don't want to do. That is the weird. The specification is that it can't be obviously harmful. God, okay. He'll probably just succeed anyway. Silvery Bob! Ah! <laughs> what? Nine! <laughs> I cast Gash's form on him. <laughs> so, in case no one knows what Silvery Barbs is, Silvery Barbs is a spell that essentially gives people disadvantage. <laughs> and the thing is, certain spells like uh, this, uh, like Silvery Barbs or Tasha's Mind Whip tend to make it so the action of economy for certain creatures is impossible, which a lot of bar which a lot of DMs have instantly banned. Yeah, I can... because of the because of the fact that they that they know the players will abuse them, as well as the fact that the players can will will abuse them. <laughs> yes, <just> but. <laughs> Okay, so we cast a gaseous form on the beholder. Let's see why. Oh, you didn't oh. protect him. Yeah, but it's kind of funny. Like, he's a whole beholder with rays and a magic eye code, and now he's just gas for the next hour as long as I concentrate. Like, he's effectively in a small prison. He's stunned. We can all heal, prepare. We can even short rest. That's horrifying. Like, I can't short rest, but the rest of the party could, and then react, maybe get a surprise round. That's really dumb. <laughs> That's how the game. You underestimated me. You took away my fireball. 
problem is if I was actually mean to my players, I could literally say a lot of the creatures now have resistance to fire and or are immune to fire, since all of them basically have fire-based spells. Uh. It's just so dumb. Uh. 